What the heck? Watch where you're going. Help! Please! Who the heck are you people? Playing stupid. Tell us where the girl is, and you might walk out of here alive. Girl? I haven't seen no girl. Playing dumb, are you? Alrighty then. I guess we'll have to beat it out of you. Hey kid, you still here? Well, what happened to them? Uh, that doesn't matter right now. Are you hurt? I don't think... Care to tell me why you're all the way up in these woods? Not many people come up here, especially without parents. Where are yours? They're, they're gone. I, I just want to get away. Get away from what, though? I don't... Okay, I'm sorry. Please, just... Don't cry. I... Okay. Look, there's a village nearby I can take you. It's called Sky Point. Can you help me? I'm not leaving a kid in this forest. Especially alone. But it's up to you. Yes. Thank you so much. Alright then. The sky, it's so beautiful. It's very pretty. Winter! Ben! Oh my god, why are you so aggressive, Dad? We're like five feet away from you. Yeah, whatever. We need you to go into town today to go get food, so go get ready. By the way, Eric is going with you. Dad, we- I- And he's gone. Great. Oh, hey, Winter. I was just looking for you. Let me kill you, unfiled feed! Why does he treat me like a kid? Probably because you're always running off to do stupid stuff. You're not exactly the smartest Bennett out of our group. That's enough of you two. Eric, leave her alone. Hey, I'm sorry for what I said before. I didn't mean it. Yeah, yeah. Go be a good boy and bark up a tree for me. What is your problem? Why do you always act like a brat to the people who are trying to help you? <laughs> I don't see how Ryan puts up with you. He has done everything for you, but you act like you don't even care. Guys, please stop fighting. I never asked to have a life like this, you know. Maybe I'm just tired of being treated as if I'm a bird in a cage. You know what? Screw this. I'm sick of this little attitude. She always has. Well, I'm sorry, little Miss Princess. I'm not going to put up with you much longer. Winter! Winter! Hopefully I lost them. Huh? What's going on over here? The Sylvan and Dark Knights were spirits who had once ascended to Earth to bring tranquility and balance to us all. 
They say that every 200 years or so, when darkness threatens our balance, a valiant hero will stand against that threat. The Silver Knight. It's said that the Silver Knight will challenge the Dark King and banish his wickedness to a land of only shadows and chaos. It was here, children, where their very last battle took place. It was hard fought for the Silver Knight, mortally wounding the Dark King. However, it wasn't enough to seal him away forever. Though not all hope was lost, as the Dark King too was mortally wounded, and perished along with them. Fear not, children, for if the Dark King should ever return to power, the mighty Silver Knight will surely come to end his reign of terror, like those before them. How do you know so much about the Silver well, Knight? that is because the last Silver Knight was none other than my wife. And though I miss her more and more with each passing day, I know that her sacrifice was not in vain. Her memory will live forever on in this town, in all of you, and in my heart. I know you're there, Griffin. Come out. Dang. It would seem as though I've been caught. How did you know? I know you too well. What's wrong, Snowflake? You seem down. I'm just sick and tired of always being treated as if I'm a bird in a cage. Ah, oh, <laughs> I would love to be treated like Ryan's little princess. Ha ha. I'm not kidding, Griffin. It's always winter, do this, winter, D don't go there, and I'm tired of it. You know he's just trying to keep his little ones safe, right? I know. If I could take you away from here, I would. But I can't. Not yet. I should go, Griffin. I'll see you around. Stay safe. You too, Snowflake. By the Silver Knights, have you lost your mind? I told you so many times before not to leave Eric's side. You know what? I can't do this, Winter. I can't keep playing these games. You're not a kid anymore. I... I... Sir, if I may say something, if you'd allow it, I'd like to take her out. Excuse me? What did you just say? No, 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 not like that, sir. I, I simply mean, take her out to explore the world. No! Absolutely not! But, sir, don't you think you're being a bit strict? I mean, you did train her yourself. She's more capable than you give her credit for. She's more adept with the sword than I am, and she's the only one who can even come close to keeping up with Finn. With all due respect, sir, she could even beat you during the annual combat training two years ago. I told you already the ground was wet and I slipped. Sir, we all know what happened. I... <laughs> I guess you're right. I was trying so hard to protect that scared little girl from the forest, but it blinded me to the wonderful woman you've become. Even though you're brash, stubborn, and never listen, I couldn't be more proud of you. I think it's time I let you go on your own. However, you have two orders. As your leader, Eric and Finn are to accompany you for the entirety of the journey. And, as your father, promise me you'll stay safe and come back soon. Eric, Finn, I'm trusting you with my daughter. Protect her with your lives. Yes, sir. Yep, won't let her out of my sight. What's wrong, Feather? Wolf got your tongue?
I, I'm sorry, sir. I, I didn't mean to. It's quite all right, little one. Run along now. Oi, you such a show off. <laughs> the Silver Knight guides no one. 